What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I'm going to be showing you my stats for 2022 on PlayStation. I'm also going to tell you guys how you can check your PlayStation stats whether you're playing on PlayStation 4 and or the PlayStation 5. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure to hit a like if you do. Comment down below. Let me know what your stats are and how it compares to mine. And if you're new, subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. Anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's check out my 2022 wrap up monkey flop PlayStation Network and I will tell you guys how you can check your stats at the end of the video. So stay tuned start now. Wow, that's bright. Okay, so explore your score reflect on your year with PlayStation each selection. So let's go ahead and check out total play time. Kind of curious to see what a tally's up to. So I have a total play time of 233 hours. I've played a total uh, of 95 days out of the entire year. Um, I don't know why it says hours played online zero. Uh, <laughs> because like 90% of the games that I've played through the past year have been online. Uh, so that's very interesting PlayStation. Maybe you need to fix that. Um, I literally have not spent any time on VR at all. Um, we got um, 13. Uh, 5.6 of your total play time was PS5 titles. So this is a PS5 titles right here. Um, thir 13 uh, of those hours were on PS5. Um, a lot, honestly, a lot of the games that I've been playing have been like PS4 titles on the PlayStation 5 um, so maybe that's why it is the way it is um, but uh, 219 of those hours were PS4 titles and then it has global stats for Horizon Forbidden West which is pretty cool so if you want to check that out you can let's go back to the dashboard um, and by the way, the only way you can get back to this screen is scroll all the way down and go to the dashboard. If you're on mobile and you're checking it out on mobile, um, that's the only way that you can do it. So let's go ahead and check out in 2022, I played 25 games. Um, so we have Realm Royale. Um, I have 149 hours played. Um, Paladins, 28 hours. Um, Marvel Spider-Man, watch out. Um, that game is pretty freaking awesome. I've played it uh, a couple of times, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I have another account where I just play games um, on my leisure time. Um, we got this game, which, um, yeah. We got Fall Guys as well, which I logged eight hours. Um, we're missing a lot of games, but I guess it just highlights the five games um, But yeah, you know each and every year I go over this list and I'm like there's there's stuff missing <laughs> There's stuff missing um, Your favorite genre of uh, 2022 was a shooter. So obviously that's realm royale um, That is pretty freaking cool um, And then it has global stats for God of War Ragnarok um, so there's those stats there again if you want to go back to the main page you want to do that um, and then we go to trophies earn honestly yeah I didn't really uh, do that much this year in regards to trophies um, I wasn't really on the, the grind for trophies this year I was just playing what I what I wanted to play um, <laughs> you know what I mean um, I did get one platinum it was an easy platinum so don't judge me if you guys watched the video already um, comment down below let me know what platinum I got in 2022 um, um, so the last trophy was Marvel spider-man which is not true because I've actually been playing uh, need for speed um, what was it one of the need for speed games <laughs> oh need for speed hot pursuit I got that thing for like under four dollars pretty freaking sweet game I've been playing a lot of that lately so we have one more section to do and then we unlock something um, which I'm gonna show you guys at the end 
of the video as well. So in 2022, uh, PS Plus uh, granted access to 833 games. Now, keep in mind, this total number is for premium, okay? It's going to look different for extra, and it's going to definitely look different for um, the standard version. I recently upgraded to premium because it was on sale. Um, if you guys watched my video previously, discuss when PlayStation Plus was on sale, and I purchased premium when it was on sale. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I'm probably gonna do a separate video discussing PlayStation Plus, um, but I was actually on a, a PlayStation Plus hiatus for a while. When I was recording videos, I was using another account that just had the PlayStation Plus essentials, to be completely honest with you, um, because I didn't find that it was worth it. Um, but with it being on sale and getting premium definitely worth it in my opinion um playstation plus monthly games added to your library i only have 10 again i was on a hiatus um it, what's funny is your top online multiplayer game for 2022 is uh, team sonic racing i did not get this game for free i purchased this game and then it came out later for free on playstation plus whatever um, so top monthly games these aren't the games that I specifically downloaded this is just like a what everybody's downloaded what the top games are so we got FIFA 22 UFC 4 dirt 5 um, Team Sonic Racing uh, which is freaking dope and um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 uh, if you guys haven't played that definitely recommend it uh, they have a free upgrade to PlayStation five which honestly is amazing um the graphics are pretty cool so uh community activity in 2022 we get down on all all four basically this is going over stray um there's over one billion meows <laughs> can you imagine hearing one billion meows at the same exact time uh, anyways, let's continue on, shall we? Because once you visit all four of these, you are actually going to be granted with your annual highlights card. So this is my annual highlights card. Everybody's card's going to look different, especially, uh, you know, depending on what is your top game. Um, so if you guys are on Instagram um, and you share your your stats on your stories definitely tag me in them I'll, I'll read I'll re uh, post them on my story as well if you guys are on Twitter uh, definitely um, at me uh, showing me your player card um, your stats and let's see how they all match up so you can click here to share uh, your summary card I honestly did this on my mobile device before recording this video just to see how everything was and I just took a screenshot of it but if you want to share it through the PlayStation Network you just simply click on this and select what you want um, so now that we've actually uh, checked over everything um, they are giving us a free avatar you've earned an avatar so for doing all of this I got an avatar which is pretty cool um it the code's already redeemed so <laughs> for those of you guys that are like ooh free um no i like i like my free stuff too you can get the, this avatar just by doing exactly what i did in this video and if you guys want to check out your playstation stats it the website is on playstation's official website don't click on anything you don't know or recognize um but the website is going to be wrap up so w r a p u p dot playstation dot com is where you can go and find your 2022 wrap up your game stats for the entire year i'm going to include a link in the video description down below you guys can copy and paste that um, and go check it out on, on your own time if you have the playstation app um, you should be able to find this in the playstation app for this video purpose i just simply did it on the PC but I did do it on my phone and it it was pretty much similar um, other than the player card is a little bit different on here um, 
it's more linear on mobile devices so keep that in mind but uh, even if you do it on mobile devices you can still go and have the same experience that I did all over again on PC or Mac so thank you so much for watching this video if you found it informative please make sure to hit a like comment down below let me know what you honestly think and of course if you guys are new subscribe with those bell notifications turned on and i will see you guys in the next news update you guys are freaking awesome before i go i wanted to show you guys what the free avatar looks like whoa the one that i got um now each avatar that you get is going to be different and unique to your play style so for me it was first person shooters for you it might have been a single player game maybe a race car game they're all going to be different um, so let's go ahead and look at this really quickly so you guys can see there's my avatar I'm gonna use it for a little while just it's for fun um, but let me know what you guys think